find the value of the lettered angles in the diagrams below and all of these angles are in degrees. Now we are giving D, 20, 60, 30, they are all angles which are formed on a straight line, right? And we say that all these angles, since they are formed on a straight line, they sum up to what? 180 degrees. So let's take that. Sum of angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degrees. So we add all these angles and we equate them to 180 degrees. So let's do that. We have D plus 20 in degrees plus 60 in degrees plus 30 in degrees. And all these will be equated to 180 degrees. Now we have 20 plus 60 plus 30. That one will give you what? 110, right? So we have D plus 110 degrees equal to 180 degrees. Now let's make D the subject. So we have D equal to grouping like terms, we bring the 110 to the side, okay? So 180 degrees minus the 110 degrees. Now our D will be equal to what? 70 degrees. Good. Now let's look at the next question. We have P 150. They are all angles which are formed on this straight line, okay? So we state that sum of angles on a straight line sum of angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degrees now we add all of them we have p plus 100 plus 50 all of these will be equated to 180 degrees so P plus 100 plus 50 is what? 150 degrees. And all these equal to 180 degrees. So we make P the subject by grouping like terms, okay? So P is equal to 180 degrees minus 150 degrees. Now P will be equal to what? 180 minus 150 gives what? 30 degrees. So the value for P in this diagram is what 30 degrees so now in this question two we have 40 70 and then x right and they are all formed on this straight line so you put it down sum of angles on a straight line on a straight line is it what what 180 degrees. So let's add them. We have 40 degrees plus 70 degrees plus x and all of these will be equated to 180 degrees. 40 plus 70 is what? We get 110 degrees plus x and that one produces 80 degrees. Now we make x the subject, right? By grouping like terms. So now let's do that. We have x equal to 180 degrees is here already. And we are sending this from the left-hand side to the right. So it becomes what? Negative. So negative 110 degrees. Now x is equal to what? 70 degrees. So this is how we find the value of angles when they are on a straight line. Okay.